David is carrying out an experiment using the gamma-emitting radioisotope iodine-125. This experiment has been run over three days and today is day two. The workstation has already been set up, but David must check for contamination before he can start. He turns on the contamination monitor and uses a tissue to wipe it down. David will then slowly move the monitor over the surface of the workstation to detect any contamination, giving the instrument a chance to respond. He drops the instrument closer to the surface to ensure that any present radiation is detected. The noise from the monitor indicates that contamination has been detected. Before continuing with the rest of the examination, David takes a permanent marker and marks the location of the contamination. He then picks up the monitor and continues to examine the workstation and perspex screen. Once he's completed that, he removes the screen. Using tweezers, David dips a clean tissue into a beaker of Decon before moving it over the contaminated area and wiping thoroughly. He presents this tissue to the monitor, which detects a high level of contamination. He repeats this process with less contamination detected. He repeats for a third time, then uses the monitor to check the contaminated area. The monitor shows no contamination on the workstation, so David proceeds to monitor the tweezers, his hands and his front. When no contamination is detected, David is ready to begin his experiment.